intersection of two planes. Determine the Cartesian equation of the plane that is parallel to the line with the equation x equals to minus 2y equals to 3z and that contains the line of intersection of the plane with the equation x minus y plus z equals to 1 and 2y minus z equals to 0. Now, so the strategy which we should follow here is that to find the equation, Cartesian equation of a plane or any plane for that matter, we need two direction vectors and a point. So that is what we need to find, two direction vectors and a point. Now here, this is giving us one direction vector since the plane that is parallel to the line with this equation will give us one direction vector and that contains line of intersection of this plane. So this line of intersection will give us equation of a line with a point, of course, and a direction vector. So, well, so we get uh, what we need, uh, that means two direction vectors of the line, and the plane, since we need Cartesian equation, we should go for the cross product of those two direction vectors to get the normal, and then use ax plus by plus cz plus d equals to zero, and get the Cartesian equation, okay? So that's what we are going to do here. So let's start with finding direction vector of this line, which is x equals to minus 2y equals to 3z, right? Now, so here we you can look at it like x over 1. I'm just writing 1. It's not a good practice to write like this. But anyway, I'm writing just to show you how we can get the direction vector of this line, right? So y over, this could be written as minus half and this is z over 1 over 3, right? So this gives us the direction vector of the line, correct? So we say, let's, the first direction vector which we are looking for is this, which is 1 minus half and 1 over 3, right? It is always good practice to write the direction vector as a integer and not as fractions, correct? So we'll multiply by 6. So if we do so, we get 6 here, and we get minus 3 and 2 here. So that's the first direction vector which we have got. Now, for the second, let's find the point or line of intersection between these two planes. Are these planes parallel? No, they are not, right? The normals are not scalar multiples, so, so they are not parallel. So if the planes are not parallel, they will intersect, and they will intersect in a line, correct? So let's find that line. So Basically, we'll solve for that, like simultaneous equations will be solved to find the equation of the line, right? So, we'll do this like x minus y plus z equals to 1, and then we have 2y minus z equals to 0. If we add them up, right? So, let's say this is our equation 1, and this is equation 2, and if we do equation 1 plus equation 2, what do we get? we eliminate z, right? So, and we get x plus y equals to 1. So, this is what we get. So, we eliminated z. Now, we can define parameters. x plus y equals to 1 is a line, right? Now, from here, we can say let x equals to t, right? So, so from here, we can say let x equals to t. In that case, y will be equal to how much? y will be equal to 1 minus x, which is I should write y. y equals to 1 minus t. Is that okay? If x is t, y is 1 minus t. Equation 2 tells us how y and z are related. z is actually 2 times y, so I can write z equals to 2 times y, so 2 times 1 is 2 minus 2t. Okay? So that is what z is for us. Now, does this give you the second direction vector? That's the question. Yes, it does. So, so how is it? So, well, from here, we can write down the point could be 1, 1, and 2. That's the point, right? Oh, sorry, 0, 1, and 2. Nothing on here, right? And for t, it is, so we can say this line, let's call this line R1. Let me call this R2, right? We are using 1 here. R2 equals to 0 and 1 and 2 plus t times 1 minus 1 
and this is minus 2, correct? So that's the second direction vector. Do you see that? 1, minus 1, and minus 2. And the point on this line is 0, 1, and 2. Do you get it? So now what we have from here is, so let me just, so that gives us, so let me write it in different things. So now what do we have? So we have m1 equals to 6 minus 3 and 2, right? And we have m2 as 1 minus 1 minus 2 and we have a point which is 0, 1 and 2. This is what we have. So we have all the ingredients to write down the equation for our plane in Cartesian form, right? Now, to get the equation of the plane in Cartesian form, remember how it is. So in Cartesian form, the equation of the plane is ax plus by plus cz plus d equals to 0, right? Where a, b, c are the normals. And to find D, we can plug in this point and then find D, correct? Now, so how do we get the normals? So we got two direction vectors. This is 1, this is 2. If I do cross product of these two direction vectors, then I get the normal, right? So my normal is actually M1 cross M2, correct? So let's do that. So M1 cross M2 is, we can write I, we can do cross product the way you want. I'll do it with this IJK matrix. Okay, now, so we'll write 6 minus 3, 2, 1 minus 1 minus 2, correct? Now, this could be written as, so I times 6 minus and minus becomes plus minus J, 6 minus 2 is minus 12, minus 2 plus k now for k 6 times minus 1 is minus 6 and minus of 3 which becomes plus 3 which gives us 8i this is minus 14 times minus becomes 14j and this is minus 3k so that is our direction vector. So we know what is n. So we can write this as 8, 14, minus 3. Correct? So that is the value of n for us. Now we know what n is, which is 8, 14, and 3. We know what the point is. And we'll plug it in the Cartesian equation of the plane, which is ax plus by plus cz equals to d, right? So let me use another ink here. So a uh, a, B, C are, these are my A, B, C's, correct? This is my A, this is my B, and this is my C, correct? And to find D, we are using this point, correct? So we'll just substitute these points here, and then 8, so we'll, let me first write down the equation as such, and then I'll substitute. So we will 8x plus 14y minus 3z plus D equals to 0. Now, we'll plug in the point, which is 0, 1, 2. So we'll say 8 times 0 plus 14 times 1 minus 3 times 2 plus D equals to 0. This is 0. This is 14 minus 6 plus D equals to 0, right? So which gives us uh, plus 8 plus D equals to 0 or D equals to minus 8, right? So we know our D now, which was not known to us. We can plug in this D and then write the Cartesian equation of our plane. So the Cartesian equation is eight x plus fourteen y minus three z minus eight equals to 0. Okay? So that's our solution. So you have to go patiently one by one in each step and then get your solution, right? These solutions could be time-consuming and they're, they're error-prone, right? 
So I'll go slowly and try to understand each step. So what we did was, we first found one direction vector from the given line, then we found the line of intersection of the two planes, that gave us a point and a direction vector, right? And we utilized that line and the direction vector to form the Cartesian equation of the line. To find the normal of the plane, we did cross product of two direction vectors of the lines. We got the normal and then to find the value of d, we utilized our point 0, 1, 2. And finally got the Cartesian equation of the plane. I hope you understand the process. Go through it very patiently, right? So, so then after doing some of the questions on two planes, we'll do intersection of three planes, okay? Thank you.